what is up you guys welcome back to my channel we are in my closet room which is insane it's a disaster um as some of you guys know we are doing house reconstruction house renovations and we redid our closet differently and this room is full to the max we did finish putting up some of our closet stuff last night actually really late that project took much longer than we expected but i figured we'd just do a little get ready with me some of you guys said that you like kind of like makeup content so i figured that'd be good to put into the vlogs it is a sunny day today which is so nice i want to get out and get some vitamin d because we have been getting so much rain and california has been getting a lot of snow in the mountains probably gonna plan on going skiing and snowboarding i actually ended up renting skis in january and having so much fun that i ended up thrifting some so i got some skis and boots at the thrift store over the last few months i want to try them out i'm not very good at like stopping on my skis yet though like I'm kind of all over the place and I haven't mastered, I can do the pizza stop, but I can't do like the side stop. Oh, I need to do my, I do my own hair cause I'm a cosmetologist. So I do my own hair and my roots are driving me crazy. They're so dark, but I'm trying to save doing them until I go to Europe. We leave for Europe in like, I think it's around three weeks from now. I'm so excited. And so I want like really fresh hair while we're there. And so I'm trying to wait for my hair to grow out and then do my roots right before we leave for Europe, but they're driving me crazy. Really like I've been getting a lot of the Glow Recipe products for skincare and like makeup prep and I actually really like them. I actually got a little mini set for when we're gone on our vacation. That's perfect for travel and it just has like all the little skincare goodies that like a perfect little size. Right, you guys know I love like perfume and body hygiene care. So I did a big Victoria's Secret sale. All of their like beauty products or like self-care products were on sale for like $5 or something, like $5.50. And so I did a huge haul and got a bunch of Victoria's Secret products. But maybe we'll do a little mini haul later. I think I'm just gonna do kind of like matte eyes today. I feel like I like doing matte eyes whenever I'm not really like, it's just kind of like a light makeup day. Everett and I have gotten in a really bad habit. Everett's a night owl in general, and I'm not really a night owl. I'm more like sleepy at night, but we have gotten in the habit of watching, um, <laughs> oh my gosh, such trash TV, you guys. So we've been watching the, um, it's called 60 Days In. I don't know if some of you guys have seen it or not, but it's like basically a show where normal civilians go to jail pretending like they are inmates or like uh, criminals and they're supposed to go in there like kind of undercover to see like how people are getting contraband in or like to get information but also the correctional officers don't know that they're not inmates so they're trying to just like blend in and we started watching it and we got like so addicted to this tv show that we've been staying up like way way later than i normally do and then getting up way later than we normally do so like our sleep schedule is all messed up <laughs> but we're like addicted to this stupid trashy tv show it's like crazy because like they're trying to like learn all the dynamics of like jail not getting any like fights with people and like the season that we're watching right now is in Atlanta and like the jail is like a pretty intense jail so it's just like really I feel like I'm like constantly stressed out for the people that they're like gonna get in a fight or like hurt or something. We also just finished the TV the TV show Last of Us with Pedro Pascal. Is that how you say his name? Oh my gosh I love him. I feel like everybody loves him. He's such a good actor and like he seems like such a sweet person such a good tv show i'm like sad that it ended <laughs> or like the season ended although my uncle is cutting tile and he's in the room next to us so i don't know if you've tried this product but the elf halo glow liquid filter is such a nice product i feel like there was a lot of hype around it so i was just kind of like i don't know it took a while for it to be in stock again at target and i finally got my hands on it it's not foundation, 
or if it is it's like a really light foundation but i feel like it's more of like a primer it's just really like thin and light and gives a glow but it's not like overly glowy i really like it and sometimes i just wear it alone with like concealer and like I don't know, when I don't want to wear a lot of face makeup. I still have been testing out this new Huda Beauty concealer. I like it, and it's like high coverage and matte. But I'm just like a tart Shape Tape girl. I feel like Shape Tape is just the best, in my opinion. You guys, I think I mentioned it maybe in my last vlog too, is that Everett and I got an espresso machine off of Amazon. We were really bad. We were drinking like the monster energy drinks for a long time and we just knew that they're like so bad for you, but we were like addicted. And I feel like regular coffee was just like not cutting it. <laughs> so we ended up getting this like Amazon affordable for an espresso machine. Cause I know that some espresso machines are like 300, $400 for like the fancy ones. But we got this one off of Amazon and I love it. It's so good. I'll show you guys it later, but I think it's called like Givi. I'll link it down below. Normal coffee doesn't taste the same anymore. It has the like espresso thing with the milk frother. I honestly don't use the milk frother very often unless I'm doing like a hot coffee and I want it to be fancy, but honestly I just do espresso and normally I like cold coffee. So I just do the espresso. And then just add in my normal creamer and like a little Tarani, Tarani sweetener. Oh my god, it's so good. Got off my the phone with my dad like an hour ago and I was like, dad, you have to get this espresso machine. And I was like, if you don't get it for yourself, then I'm going to get it for you. And he was like, no, 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 don't do that. It's so good. Everett's cousin or like second cousin um, has a French bulldog. I love those dogs and he unfortunately has some medical issues so he can't like take care of the dog um like as much as he wants to be able to i think the dog is like a year or so um and he's just feeling overwhelmed or like trying to take care of it but knows that the dog like needs more activity and stuff like that since it's a puppy um they're in arizona Ever and I might fly out to Arizona and pick up the dog and get a new puppy or like a new dog. I'm so excited. So yeah, it's not like for sure, for sure yet, but it's a possibility. Both of our dogs are 12 years old, so they're quite a bit older and I don't know. I'm really worried that like if we lose one of them, that the other one would be like really depressed because they're like besties or like they have each other so I just feel like I don't know if we had three and then you know they're both 12 so eventually it's gonna happen I don't like to think about it because it makes me want to cry but um yeah then we'd have maybe they just still have like the friend and the puppy the only thing I would definitely do different with a new dog is crate train it and not have it sleep in our bed because our dogs sleep in our bed and so i feel like i'm always just sleeping in like contorted ways <laughs> you guys everett is driving me freaking nuts today i'm definitely like a more organized like i don't know if it's a, that i'm a taurus or i just like a plan i'm organized i'm somebody that like is not very go with the flow like I like to know what we're doing when we're doing it whatever and ever is just like so unorganized all over the place like never has a plan just always like wings everything which is fine sometimes but like sometimes he drives me to damn nuts and he just changes everything up no plan drives me nuts I'm having boundaries and it's not listening to you no plan not doing it Here's a little update of our master bath. Five years too late. Here's the progress. Here's our shower. It's ten times over budget. Ten <laughs> <laughs> Putting in the tile for the shower. Dresser used to be here. We put it inside the closet. And then Everett just put up the bars. Put up my bars. I think I need another one here maybe for dresses. And we just put in can lights too. We didn't have can lights. And our friend Murphy, who's an electrician, 
did all of the can lights in here and in here. All right, you guys, I've made a little bit of progress today and I've put a bunch of my clothes into the closet. Hoodies and sweatshirts, like casual, not sweaters, but just like sweatshirts and zip ups and hoodies. And then down here is like mostly tanks and some long sleeves and blouses. I've made a little progress too, but stuff is still a mess. There's stuff everywhere. Just, we're, this is what living through construction looks like. It's just like dust everywhere, and tools everywhere. <laughs> That's the reality. been half the day. I went on the run that was too advanced for me and I had the pizza the whole way down and it just hurt my legs really bad. So now I'm recovering. Every time in fun. The park's all right. It's all right today. It's not very good, but it's okay. Probably 25 feet of snow on the base. 25 feet. Not a fresh powder, but like, yeah, it's deep. I'm learning how to stop better. <laughs> Uh, this is only my second day skiing ever, so I'm learning how to try to stop, not pizza, but side, to the side. But all my friends are advanced, so I feel bad. They they need to go do their Oh, own I should have brought Janique. I know, that's what I was thinking earlier. I was like, oh, we didn't invite Janique. Now it's lunchtime. Should I get a beer or not? Probably not, huh? I do like a michelada. Text Murph, tell him to get french fries too. Nah. You guys, you guys will not believe this. It's freaking snowing again. It doesn't snow where we live, like ever, and it's snowing. And it just won't stop snowing. It's supposed to be spring and sunny. And like maybe rain every once in a while, but it just keeps snowing. Like California, it's like record snows this year. Like of all time record snows. Annoying. I'm so over it like it's been nice that I've been able to ski a few times and try to learn that but like The winter will never end What's up guys Today I am so excited. Sorry if it's echoey in my bathroom. There's nothing I can really do about it I got new Goo Goo hair. Goo Goo hair did send this over to me for review. I'm so excited because I haven't gotten new hair in a while. And you guys know me, I love extensions. Like I love long hair, but my hair gets really dry and damaged and it never grows much longer than it is right now. Honestly, I probably need a bit of a trim, but it's just because I bleached my hair and it's so damaged and I have pretty like fine thin weak hair to begin with. So I've been wearing hair extensions since like, I was probably like 18 years old, so over 10 years. <laughs> but yeah, Google sent me these new hair extensions. Google Hair does have a website, but they also sell on Amazon. So I wanted to try the ones from Amazon this time because I feel like Amazon is just like so fast and easy. Um, these ones are, I think, a little bit thinner than my past Google Hair extensions. Also, I will say that these ones do have just the normal weft at the top. Sometimes um, they have the ones that are like really fine and thin and these ones are just like the regular type, not the low profile kind. So we'll see if they feel more bulky on my head since I'm used to the other type. I will put all of the information down below if you guys want like the same color or to know more about the extensions, any discount codes and any information about Goo Goo Hair, like the links. All right, I'm just gonna speed up this process for you guys because it's kind of, I have installed my hair extensions and like how to's so many times. So we're just gonna speed this up. Guys, I'm not gonna lie, 
lie you guys i don't like these extensions as much as my other ones i can just tell they're like so fine and thin and you have to clip in so many rows just to get like a little bit of hair and because they're so fine you can see like where my natural hair is and where these extensions are hopefully it looks better once we curl them but i just feel like you should spend the money on the thicker the thicker ones i I'm, I'm gonna try my best to make them work and look decent like i think that curling your hair helps but i don't know man I recently tried out this Living Proof Perfect Hair Day Dry Shampoo. I'm really, really, really picky about dry shampoos. I only like like one or two, and I actually kind of like this one. I just don't like the feeling of a lot of dry shampoo. It just doesn't work for my hair type, I guess. But this kind, like, I feel like it even gives me some volume. It really sucks when brands send you something and you want to, like, make it work because... It's not personal, but you just like don't like the product and like it just, I just don't feel like they look good. I don't. I think maybe with curling them a little bit, it'll give it a little bit of body or something. You don't have super thin hair. This is never going to blend. The hair quality itself feels nice and soft, but I don't like the wefts. I don't like the old wefts. There's better technology now that makes them like not as bulky and way easier to hide. And like the, just like the density of this hair, it's just not enough for me. I would rather just pay more money and get something that I'm gonna wear and use more. I'd rather go with their other extensions. And I just can't lie to you guys. <laughs> like that's part of something that's like really important. I think with doing social media is like, only recommending things when you actually like them. So to be honest, I don't really like these, sorry. Also, I will say that this is not personal to Goo Goo Hair. Like they've always been really amazing, easy to work with, super nice, super helpful. Them as a company, this isn't personal. I just don't like these extensions. I've tried other Goo Goo Hair extensions that I did like. So um, maybe check out their website. But these ones from Amazon, I just, it's it has nothing to do with Goo Goo Hair. It's just, I like thicker hair. <laughs> Okay, just want to make that clear. Bottom of the fourth, two outs, full count. Here's the pitch. Oh, oh she hits it, she hits it. Turn it first, turn it first. Oh no. <laughs> it gets wild quick out here. How you feeling, how you feeling? What do you want? Good. <laughs> he wants the, he wants the, the wooden bat, the illegal bat. I mean, root beer. Root beer, get back on the duck. Unless you make contact. No, just make contact at the same time you go yard. You got this. Yeah, Kilo! That's what I'm talking about! I figured I'd just give you my really quick Victoria's Secrets haul. Okay, here we go. Oh, also, I want to show you guys my new shoes because I think they're so cute. I got them today. Um, they're uh, on Amazon. They were like 120 and then the other day I looked and they were on sale for like 50 So I ended up getting them and I love them. They're so cute. They're like light gray and when they came They're actually made out of like uh, recycled plastic like water bottles and different recycled things So like a lot of it is a really slick material they're not very soft. They're like almost like a really plasticky type material but i just thought they were really cool because you guys know me i love my reduce reuse recycle and they're cute <laughs> first off i really like these this honey oil i've actually had this one for quite a while and it's a body oil this one smells the best in my opinion and i love using this after the shower and i mix it in with lotion just to give myself like a really oiled up moisturized and it smells delicious and I feel like this smell kind of lingers and I also like to use this when I'm using my perfumes because the more moisturized your skin is the more that the perfume is going to stay and project and just like last a long time so I like to layer this right before I put on perfume and so I ended up getting the honey lotion and the honey body wash and these are big these are big guys 16 ounces and it smells really good Sweet and like vanilla-y and honey-y. Oh, it smells so good. So I just feel like the whole combo is gonna be great. And then I also ended up getting the 
butter, which has shea butter in it. And I just love the honey smell. So yeah, those are amazing. And then I also saw that it came out with a new one. This is the Cocoa Peach and it's a radiant body glow. So it has like shimmer in it. And I thought that this would look so pretty in the summertime when I'm wearing like shorts or like on your chest when you want that kind of like shimmery vibe. I don't know why they only make it in the peach. It is kind of like an artificial peach smell, kind of like a peach gummy rings kind of smell. Also got the peach lotion to mix these two together would be nice. And then I also ended up getting the honey strawberry. This one's brand new. I actually haven't even smelt it yet. Hmm strawberry smoothie it almost smells like a strawberry banana smoothie to me cocoa oil i think this one just smells like coconuts really nice it's just got like a light sweet scent not super coconutty but it does smell good i got bare vanilla just because i wanted a plain vanilla to kind of layer with merlot pear i love the smell of pear and this one is like a bit deeper i also got another pear one but i like the merlot pear better pear glace spray and lotion and this one has sugared pear dewy melon this one's much more of like a cleaner smell like a crisp kind of like crisp clean pear be good for like a gym scent it's like sweet but it's not i don't know it has a bit of like a i guess it's the melon in there that makes it a little bit more like clean smelling and this one is called almond blossom and oat milk and it's much softer smelling not quite so like sickly sweet like some of the other ones, this one's very like neutral, just kind of very creamy. This one would be a really nice like everyday scent, really casual, but I like to wear this to bed too. It smells so good for like bedtime. Bear Vanilla Splash, this is one of the new ones. Right there, it's like a summery. It's coconut flower, lotus, bear vanilla. It is a little bit floral, but also sweet. And oh, I got the cocoa peach. So I have the oil and the lotion and the spray. This one, again, it smells like gummy, peach gummy rings. Coconut Passion, I think that that's been around for a little while, but I just wanted to get all the new kind of like summery scents. This is Island Coconut Warm Sands. Yeah, it's a very like warm, ambery coconut smell. Very nice. And then the last one, I got Orange Flower Sun. They came out with three different of these ones, and this is the only one I really liked very much. This one is citrus blossoms and blush wood and bubblegum petals. Yeah, a little citrusy, a citrusy floral. 